Hello everyone, this is Bindu Prabha Sahu. Welcome you all to our YouTube channel Snips Biology. So, in this video, we will discuss the second part of the evolutionary biology set. So, in this you will have 20 questions which are exam point of view se aap logon ke liye important hai. Okay? So, start karte hai. But start karne se pehle, let me tell you if you are new to this channel or if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to support our channel and support us and like and share our videos with all your friends. Okay? Question number one. A dominance hierarchy may be established by agonistic behavior determines which animals get first access to resources, helps to avoid potential injury of competitors, all of the above. Okay. So what is dominance hierarchy? It is a type of a social hierarchy that arises when members of animal or social groups interact creating a ranking system okay and it is generally seen in case of baboons your uh, wolves some birds all these animals okay so dominance hierarchy okay it can be established by agonistic behavior agonistic behavior matlab fighting behavior Okay, and it also determines which animal get first access to resources and it also helps to avoid potential injury of competitors. As a result of this dominance hierarchy, what happens? The uh, various groups of animals, they live together. Okay, so is cancer kya ho jayega aapka? All of the above. Option D is the correct answer. Now come to question number two. The term innate behavior refers to an animal behavior that triggered by an environmental change uh, that is taught by the parent that is developmentally fixed that an organism learns on its own by a hit and trial approach okay so what is innate behavior innate behavior is a behavior of an organism uh, in which it is born with okay so jo ye innate behavior hai it can be reflex or instinct reflex kise bolenge uh, automatic response, okay, which doesn't involve a message from the brain, just like sneezing, ho gaya, shivering, ho gaya, yawning, ho gaya. okay, and instinct. Kise bolenge? It is the inherent tendencies to engage spontaneously in a particular pattern of behavior, okay, just like if a cat, okay, dog, if it gets wet, what does it do? It shakes its body, ko shake karta hai. right? So, shaking of dog after it gets wet. Or fir bird migration before the uh, winter season. Okay, ye hai instinct ke example. So, jo innate behavior, it refers to an animal behavior that is developmentally fixed. Okay, option C, aapka correct answer ho jayega. Clear? Now, come to question number three. During evolution, the photosynthetic organisms initially responsible for increasing atmospheric oxygen concentrations from lower than 1% to about 20% were. Okay, evolution ke vakt, ye hum padhe bhi the. Evolution ke vakt, photosynthetic, jo photosynthetic organism, jo atmospheric oxygen concentration ko 1% se lekar 20% me pohunchaya, wo kya hai? Kaun hai wo? Cyanobacteria. Right? Option D is the correct answer. Now, come to question number 4. Balanced genetic polymorphism occurs when there is selection against heterozygotes, all genotypes, all homozygotes, ya fir only homozygous recessive. Okay? Dekho, what is balanced genetic polymorphism? Okay, ye hame jana zaruri hai. So, when carriers have advantages that allow a detrimental allele, okay, a detrimental allele to persist in a population, okay, then balanced polymorphism takes place, okay, and this form of polymorphism often enters heterozygosity for an inherited illness, which protects against an infectious illness, jaysay ki aapka sickle cell anemia ho gaya, to ye bola hai ki balanced genetic polymorphism occurs when there is selection against, okay, yahan pe ek word Hai against clear to wo kya ho jayega against all homozygotes hoga okay clear option c is the correct answer now come to question number five 
A proposed hypothesis for the origin of genetic information is that okay, origin of genetic information में कौन सा hypothesis propose किया गया है तो देखो सब हमें अच्छे से analyze करना पड़ेगा सारे के सारे options को early DNA molecules coded for RNA which then catalyze the production of proteins क्या ये वो hypothesis था नहीं था then early polypeptides became associated with RNA bases and a catalyst linked the bases into RNA molecules ये भी नहीं था next short RNA strands were capable of self replication and evolved by the natural selection of molecules that were most stable and autocatalytic okay ये आपका correct answer हो सकता है फिर भी हम D को देखते हैं as probions grew and split they distributed copies of their molecules to their offspring नहीं हमें यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन क्या पूछा है कि ओरिजिन ऑफ जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके वहाँ पे क्या हाइपोथेसिस दिया गया था तो वहाँ पे आरएनए सेल्फ रिप्लिकेशन कर सकता है बोल के ये हाइपोथेसिस दिया गया था कि शॉर्ट आरएनए स्ट्रांड्स वर कैपेबल ऑफ सेल्फ रिप्लिकेशन एंड दे इवॉल्व्ड बाय द नेचुरल सिलेक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच वर मोस्ट स्टेबल एंड ऑटोकैटालाइटिक ओके सो इसका आंसर क्या हो जाएगा ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 एट प्रेजेंट डिप्नोअंस आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर सो who are dipnoans they are ostichthyans okay which are organisms belonging to a uh, subclass of bony fishes comprising of the lung fish okay so they are distributed over latin america and australia okay option b ye wildlife biodiversity jo hai aapka ek paper hai na usme ye help kar sakta hai now come to question number 7 Fossil remains of Archaeopteryx were recovered from the rock beds of the जो Archaeopteryx के fossil remains हैं वो कहाँ से मिला था? कौन से period में? आपका Jurassic period में. Option B is the correct answer. Now come to question number eight. The modern synthetic theory of evolution is based on easy question है, direct question है. It is based on what? Your जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन एंड नेचुरल सिलेक्शन हाँ ये सही होगा सॉरी ये तो ऑप्शन बी है फिर ऑप्शन ए जेनेटिक एंड क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन फिर जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन एंड नेचुरल सिलेक्शन फिर रिप्रोडक्टिव आइसोलेशन ओके ये तीनों के तीनों सही है राइट तो ऑल ऑफ द एवर हो जाएगा ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट वन नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन हेकल्स बायोजेनेटिक लॉ ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक इवोल्यूशन रिसीव सपोर्ट फ्रॉम ओके तो किसके बेसिस से किसके सपोर्ट से हैकल्स पैरोजेनेटिक लॉ ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक इवोल्यूशन इन्फ्लुएंस हुआ है किसका किसका स्टडीज होगा नंबर नाइन पैलेंटोलॉजिकल स्टडीज मॉर्फोलॉजिकल स्टडीज एम्ब्रायोलॉजिकल स्टडी या फिर सैरोलॉजिकल स्टडी इट इज एम्ब्रायोलॉजिकल स्टडीज ओके ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इवोल्यूशन ऑफ सेक्स हैज बीन नेसेसरी फॉर द सेक ऑफ Continuance of species, variety of characters, it will result in consistency of traits that will appear generation after generation. Yeah, for keeping the proliferation of young ones in check. Kya hoga? Evolution of sex. Okay. Kyu necessary hai? Because of the variety of characters, it will result in. Okay. Ten ka answer kya ho jayega? Option B. Clear? Most appropriate answer hi hoga. Next come to question number of uh, 11. Which one of the following ancestors is most distantly related to the modern man? Okay. Australopithecus, Dryopithecus, Ramopithecus, Ephir, Pythicanthropus. Okay. So, kya hoga? 11. Dryopithecus. Okay. Clear? Now come to question number 12. Which one of the following statements is correct? Okay, kya? Sahi hai. Our planet had acquired its oxidizing atmosphere from very beginning. No. Okay, ye hum pad chuke hai. Recent lecture videos mein ki pehle oxidizing atmosphere nahi tha. Next, the known fossil record in our planet dates back to about a billion years. Nahi. Fir, the earliest known fossil fish, uh, fishes hoga sahi. Fishes. 
had a heavy external armor of protection earliest known fossil kon hai jo ostracoderms okay so they have they had a heavy external armor of protection ye sahi ho sakta hai fir the earliest known fossil fish are bony fishes to aapka answer better hoga ki aap c karo okay earliest known fossil fishes fishes hoga ye had a heavy external armor of protection the first fossil fishes that were discovered were australicoderms okay next come to question number 13 the earliest living forms of life to appear on the earth are believed to be protovirus my virus mycoplasma ya fir bacteria kya hoga bacteria clear option d is the correct answer now come to question number 14 The term hot dilute soup has been used while explaining the theory of hot dilute soup. Term किसने दिया था? Holden ने to reflect the or uh, to uh, refer to the prebiotic oceans, right? Where the organic biomolecules were produced from simple inorganic compounds. Okay, Hopper and Holden theory हम लोग पढ़े हैं, right? तो देखो, तो कौन सा theory होगा? Theory of your chemical evolution. Okay, option B is the correct answer. Now come to question number fifteen. A. I. Operin postulated that colloidal bodies arose in the sea during the primordial stage of the earth. Okay, पढ़े हैं हाँ. He referred to them as उस जो colloidal bodies arise हुए in the sea during that primordial stage of the earth. तो उसे Operin क्या refer किए? Pro protobionts. ड्रॉपलेट्स माइक्रोस्फीयर्स या फिर स्पेरियोल्स ओके बहुत कंफ्यूजिंग ऑप्शंस है राइट तो यहाँ पे आंसर क्या हो जाएगा ऑपरिन ने उन्हें रेफर किया था आज कॉजरवेट ड्रॉपलेट्स कॉजरवेट्स ओके ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्लियर नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग करेक्टली डिफाइंस पॉइंट म्यूटेशन पॉइंट म्यूटेशन का डेफिनेशन पूछा है Changes in the location of a block of genes in the chromosomes, nahi. Fir inversion of a block of genes within a chromosome, no. Loss of a segment of DNA containing one or several genes in the chromosome, nahi. Alternation in the DNA sequence of a gene and passing of the new nucleotide sequence to the offspring. Ye apka sahi rahega option D. Clear? Ek gene me DNA sequence me kuch changes hai. and that nucleotide will pass on to the next generation okay that nucleotide sequence after alternation that is point mutation okay now come to question number 17 abiogenic synthesis of life stopped after okay abiogenic synthesis of life kiske baad mein kaun se event ke baad mein stop ho gaya after the formation of ozone layer ya fir after cooling down of high temperature या फिर आफ्टर द एमिशन ऑफ अल्ट्रावायलेट रे रेज स्टॉप या फिर आफ्टर द डिप्यूशन ऑफ एटमॉस्फेरिक गैसेस क्या हो जाएगा ऑप्शन ए आफ्टर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ओजोन लेयर ओके आफ्टर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ओजोन लेयर द अपायोजेनिक सिंथेसिस ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉप्ड क्लियर नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 सिमोरिया इज अ टिपिकल एग्जांपल पोजेसिंग बोथ ओके तो सिमोरिया क्या है सिमोरिया इट इज एन एक्सटिंक्ट जीनस ऑफ Simoria morph, okay, from the early Permian of North America and Europe, okay. So considering Simoria, it is a typical example which possesses both the characters of what amphibia and reptilia, okay. Option B is the correct answer. Simoria is a typical example possessing both amphibian and reptilian characters. Now come to question number nineteen. Which among the following is the correct chronological sequence of the epochs of Cenozoic era? Okay, Cenozoic era में जो epochs आए उसका correct sequence हमें देखना है. Okay, तो देखो first क्या आता है आपका Paleocene. Okay, उसके बाद Eocene, उसके बाद Oligocene, फिर Miocene, फिर Pliocene, फिर Pleistocene. Okay. क्लियर देखो पैलियोसिन प्लियोसिन प्लेस्टोसिन ओके कंफ्यूजन यहाँ पे आता है तो रिमेम्बर फर्स्ट पैलियोसिन 
एंड में प्लेस्टोसिन ओके तो पैलियोसिन इोसिन ऑलिगोसिन मायोसिन प्लियोसिन प्लेस्टोसिन ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इवोल्यूशन ऑफ यूनिक ग्रुप्स ऑफ मैमल्स इन साउथ अमेरिका अफ्रीका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज एन एविडेंस ऑफ इट इज द एविडेंस फॉर क्रिस्टल मूवमेंट या फिर कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट ग्लेशियशन या फिर जोग्राफिकल जस्टा पोजिशन ओके तो दिस इज एन एविडेंस फॉर कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट ओके क्लियर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इट आई होप this video this practice set will be helpful to you all evolutionary biology important hai questions aate hain uh, wildlife conservation and diversity jo uh, wala paper jo bacche de rahe hain unke liye evolutionary biology bahut hi significant role play karta hai to acche se aap log dekh ke jana okay so this is all about it milte hain aap logo se agle video mein till then take care of yourselves abhi tak aap logo ne agar channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai subscribe kar lo और पास में जो बेल आइकन है उसे प्रेस करके वहां पे ऑल सिलेक्ट कर लो ओके थैंक यू